Hi, everybody. You were? I don't know. This is just like a last minute thought. I was like, ah, oh, I have it in forever. I'll just do it. Where is my beauty blender? I'm never prepared. I guess I'm using a brush today. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face just because I just wanna get it out of the way. I don't feel like messing with it. So I'm gonna prime, and I'm using for primer, I'm using the Pop, Pop Beauty Zero Shine Prime. I actually really been liking this. Is my light too bright? I've been really, really liking this. Oh yeah, Henry's really good, I love him. That's Bay right there. What's everyone up today? So I'm just gonna prime my face. I know my eyebrows look crazy, you guys. Like, I wanna say it was like two days ago. Um, I got my eyebrows tattooed when I was like, I don't remember how old I was. It was a couple years ago, like four years, five years. Um. I regret it. Worst thing I've ever done. Ever. I'm so drunk. Oh my gosh, you drank last night? I didn't even know you drank. Um. And I hate it. Like, it's so ugly. So I let my hair grow back over it and it, like, kind of covered it. And for some reason, like, two days ago I got bored and I ended up shaving the hair off. And, oh my gosh, it's a hot mess. It is so bad. But I'm going to show you guys how to fix them. So I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and stuff. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Makeup Stick. I really like this too. I just started using this as well. It's a little dark for me. But I like it because my concealer is really light. So this kind of just like evens it out. This like glides on and it blends super, super easy. Like I love it. Remember it's the Lancome Makeup Stick. I know I look crazy. Y'all are probably like, Oi, what is going on? Yeah, they've been tattooed this whole time. They've been tattooed for like four or five years. Probably like four years. I don't remember. A lot of years though, it feels like. Hi. Hello, Christy. How's the lips? They're they're doing good. They're doing pretty good. I go back in another, I think, like a week. Um, and he'll check them and see if there's any spots that needs to be touched up. But they're doing pretty good. They're so big to me though, like it's crazy. What's tattooed? My eyebrows are tattooed. If all you guys who are watching right now, we got 900 people watching. If all 900 of you could take the time and just quickly hit the share button for me, pretty please. I would appreciate it. Let's see if we can get 2K viewers. You guys don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page. <clears throat> I have it all linked in the description. And also, follow me on Instagram. That's where I do my little tutorials there. I do like funny tutorials. Y'all guys would like them. And then my Snapchat too. I'd be on Snapchat on a daily. I should have linked my YouTube, but I didn't. Oh, crap. I should have. It's okay. And don't forget to like makeup goals. Always like makeup goals. If you are new coming in here. We're almost at three million, you guys. Invite your friends to this page. Okay. Thank you, Veronica, for sharing. Thank you, Amy, for sharing. I know I look crazy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, we're gonna go to eyebrows. Shared first time watching. 
Thank you, Kelly. Make sure you're following makeup goals. My name is Justice, but I go by JJ. But my, my name is Justice. Thank you, Jade. So what I use for my eyebrows is BH Cosmetics Studio Pro um, Pomade. Hi, David. Um, in the shade Ebony. It's really, really dark, but this just... I have to do it so dark because it helps cover up the tattoos better. So, and then this brush I use... This is the first brush I use, and then in a little bit I will go in with another brush. This is from Sigma, the small angled E65 brush. I don't know. Henry was just making fun of this, and here I am doing it. Um... And I'll get quite a bit of a product. And I will just. I kind of want to zoom in a little bit. Hey. Oh, you guys, yeah, my nails. These are stick on nails. Thank you guys for asking. We are on day three. Not one single one has fell off yet. Not one. Day three. We'll see how long. And I've washed dishes, I've taken baths. And they holding up good. Hi. First time watching. Hello. Hi. Thank you, Armani. Hi, Faith. Hi, Anna Lee. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. You're so sweet. So then I'm going to go ahead and start. And I start from the end. And go down and I do go a little bit under the tattoo um, because they're too skinny so just to make them a little bit thicker and then I will go on the top and I'll start filling it in like this can you guys see what I'm doing just want to make sure you guys can see So does anybody that is on here, do you guys have tattooed eyebrows too and regret it? Hi. Hello, Daniela. A lot of people say microblade, but I don't know. I just don't like microblading either. I don't want to regret that either. So I just keep it like this and draw it myself. Which it wasn't as bad when I let my hairs grow over it, but I don't know what I was thinking that day. I just straight shade my brows off. Spare the moment. Don't do it. Do not do it. So then I go like this, and I know they look hella, like, tattooed. So then I take this brush. Thank you for sharing, Armani. Love you, girl. I don't regret mine. You don't? Hi. Some of your guys' names I don't really know how to pronounce, and I don't want to look um, pronouncing it. Why did you do that to your eyebrows? I did it a long time ago. I don't know. That that was back when everybody was tattooing their brows, so I did it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so this is a sm more smaller, skinnier brush. I don't know if you can see. It's super thin, and it's really hard. Um, for this part, you want a more stiffer brush, and as tiny as you can get. And this is Sigma brush as well. This is the E06 brush. And I dip in quite a bit of product. Not too much, but not too little. I always mess up right here, so I'm going to be... Shh, shh, so I don't fuck up. Oops, excuse my language. So I don't mess this up. I be forgetting to... Not cuss. Hello from Mexico. Hi, I'm from New Mexico. So I will draw on little hairs. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay. 
Sorry, I got real quiet. Because I always mess this part up. So, some people don't like the way this looks. But to me, you can't really tell unless you're really up looking at someone. But from like far away talking to somebody, it kind of looks like I have hair instead of like that like boxed eyebrow. Hello from Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know how to say Thank you for sharing. Hello, I'm from Malaysia. Well, hello. Hi, Vanessa. Denver, wow. Hello. Thank you, Vanessa. Then I will just add some more. So what, like I said, this isn't for everybody. Not everybody's going to like this. But if you do have like the older fashion, not micro blading, but the older flash, flash and fashion, um, tattooed eyebrows and you want to try to make them look, you know, sort of real. <laughs> Thank you. Hello from Philippines. Well, hi. Wow, you guys are all over the world. I love that. See, and then I go mess it up like that. I'm just going to leave it because if not, I'm going to mess it up even worse. I do this every time. I love you. Oh, I love you too. So you guys, make sure you guys hit the share button really fast for me. Let me know once you have shared. So I can thank you. So once again, I think I made this one too thick on top. Sorry, I get really quiet. I like concentrate. <laughs> thank you Sylvia for sharing thank you JLo for sharing thank you Mandy thank you Abigail that's what I'm talking about if you guys want to share it to your favorite makeup pages you can as well I don't mind I'm just kidding thank you from Dallas princess I'm from Malaysia hi Hi, gorgeous. Thank you, Summer. Tennessee. Hi, Brittany. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Do you ever do one? Do you ever do one good and one? Yeah, all the time. My brows, my brows come out different every day, honestly. Um, it's just. I don't want to, I feel like I'm taking too long on the brow, so I think I should have did one of them off of camera. And then I will light hand bring a little line up to the front like this. And I don't go all the way on the top. So like that and I will clean these brows up still then once again using the E06 brush which is a smaller denser brush to do the hairs in the front are you putting on your eyebrows I'm using the BH cosmetics pomade and the shade Ebony. E. it's super affordable I think it's like eight or nine dollars just as good as Anastasia Beverly Hills too honestly if not better because Anastasia, theirs kind of dries out. And this one hasn't dried out on me so far. Aw, thank you, Cassidy. That was so sweet. 
You're from from Rome, New York. New York, hey. Let's see if I can get my eyebrows like yours. Thanks for the video. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Just make sure you get a harder brush to where it's more stiff and super skinny for the hair strokes. Okay. So just do some strokes like this. And I notice if you just kind of flick, it does it better than if you like really take your time trying to do it. That's whenever, usually when I mess up the most. Thank you, Taylor. They're big. Yeah, you guys, if you guys don't know, I got lip injections just recently. I used BH Cosmetics Pomade on my brows in the shade Ebony. Thank you for sharing, you guys, from El Paso. Hey. I'm from New Mexico. See, I messed up on that one. Oh, darn it. I always have to redo them. Yeah, I messed up, but it's okay. I'm just going to fill it in. So I definitely, but it'll work, it's fine. It'll work, let's just move on. I'll fix it later, that way we can, you guys can see what look I do. And I haven't decided on a look. Do you guys want a certain kind of look? Okay, then I will take This concealer I've been using, which is the Milk Makeup Concealer, I just started using it a couple days ago. And I will just place it here because I'm going to clean up these bad boys. And I'm actually going to use this to prime my lids too. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over all over my lids. How much did your lip injections cost? Um, It cost $600 per syringe, but every place is different. Um, usually the price range is between $500 to $1,000 is what I was told. Um, so it kind of depends what you get, where you go, the amount of product you get. So we'll just clean them up real quick and then I'm going to blend this out on my eye. Just like that. And I like to use concealers more than I do like actual eyeshadow bases um, as a base. I don't know. I just like concealers a whole lot better. So this is just cleaning them up just so they don't look so messy. This makes a huge difference, so I definitely recommend um, if you don't already, which most people do now, but if you don't clean up your brows, I would start doing it. Honestly, if you don't use concealer, you could even use your foundation. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you guys like my Snapchats. Yeah, don't forget to follow Makeup Goals. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I do all my stuff, my videos, my little mini videos, and they're funny. And my Snapchat, don't forget to follow my Facebook page, my personal one, not my personal, my um, makeup page. Everything's in, in the description. Okay, so next, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to go ahead and go to the eyes. Let's go straight to the eyes. So, 
I'm gonna set the eyeshadow or the concealer that's on my eyes really quick just so that way it doesn't crease and that way my shadow blends a lot easier we love to see you eat <laughs> Yeah, you guys, I do mukbangs as well. I like food, so if you guys like food, I would follow me. <laughs> you never do giveaways. I'm going to start doing giveaways. I actually have a giveaway coming up next week. I just, I don't really have the time to go live a lot, so it's kind of hard. Um, but yeah, I have a giveaway coming next week. Okay, so once that is set, now for the eyes. So I have been using this palette like crazy. You guys probably know this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Um, I just love this palette. It looks like this, but I'm not sure. I've been using this a lot. And I'm not sure if I want to use it again. Um, yay, you are finally replied to my comments. Sorry, the comments just move so fast, and I'm like on a time schedule, so do a sunset. Um, do you guys want to see this palette, or should I use a different palette? I might go ahead and go in with this palette. What do you guys think? I am. Um, so the first shade I'm going to take is going to be... I'm going to take this one right here. Which is called... Actually, I'm going to take Blazing and then I'm going to... No. I'm just going to take this one right here. Yeah. Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it and see how we like it. Don't mind the haters. No, they don't bother me. I don't have the prism palette. I want to get it. So I'm going to go in with that. And I like to go with a light hand. Go with circular motions, like so, and I'm going to gradually bring it in because I want the deepest color, the most pigment to be at the end of my eye. One day I will be on the cover of Huda. One day, girl, I hope so, huh? That would be amazing. That'd be awesome. I love Huda Beauty too. She's the queen. Thank you. You guys hit the share button. Is it creamy? What do you mean creamy? Like is it a wet foundation? Or like a cream foundation? Or is it just pigmented you mean? What do you mean by that? So I'm just building this up to how I like it. What do you do for work? This is what I do for work. I do Instagram for work mainly. But besides that, I am a stay-at-home mom, you guys. I am, I'll tell you a little bit about me. So I am from New Mexico. Not Mexico, New Mexico. Some people get it kind of confused. And I am 23 years old. You won't believe this. I have six kids, biological kids, six biological kids. Um, I am married. I started the beauty industry doing videos on Instagram um, in April of this year.
Why can't I see comments? I don't know, love. I am a YouTube person, but I'm not big on YouTube. I'm big on Instagram. I'm not big on YouTube. Um, I just, I kind of slack on YouTube. It's, it's a lot harder. I mainly do, my YouTube is like mixture, like, mukbangs, <laughs> um, some tutorials. What else do I have? Chit chats, I think. I don't know. I, have, I don't remember. I don't, I've been trying to post, I'm actually going to post a new, um, YouTube video today. Probably tonight. So I'm just building this up how I like it. Are you married? Yes, I am a married. Six kids. Yes, I have six kids. I got married at 14. Started really, really early, but I'm doing I'm doing big things in life, so it hasn't held me back at all. It's actually I love my life. My username is JJ space N Y C O L E capital X O. So JJ Nicole. Um, I'm sure if you just type in JJ Nicole, I'll probably pop up still. And then I'm gonna take a if I can find a clean brush. A more clean brush. And I'm just going to blend the top out. Like so. It's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Sammy. Thank you. 25 here, one kid. Oh, wow. Yeah, kids aren't for everybody, but I love kids. How did you start getting paid on Instagram? Um, By posting. And my video is going viral. So... I, my fit followers went started going up um, pretty fast usually it takes people a long time to build their Instagram up but my stuff started going viral I got lucky and I don't know it just kind of happened thank you what age did you first get pregnant um, 14 and I had him I got pregnant at 14 but I delivered him at 15 my oldest kid is seven, so seven and under. <laughs> I wonder what the V is like after six kids. Okay, well, let's just say it's not going to be any JJ It's not going to be the same after a kid than what it was before any children. But my husband ain't complaining. <laughs> How much do you get paid? Um, that is something that I am not allowed to share. I use what primer? I use the Pop Beauty No Shine Zero Shine Prime. I really like this, and I think it's really affordable. Did you finish school? I did not. Sadly, I did not. Okay, let's get on with the makeup. So then I am going to. I'm going to go in with this shade right here at the ends as well, just to deepen them up just a little bit. Like that. Yes. Um. They're talking about my Instagram. That's my job is my Instagram. I'm 23. I'm from New Mexico. So then I'm going to take on the lid. I'm going to put, what is the name of this? Royal, which is a purple. I'm going to put that on the lid and we're going to see how that looks. We'll see if I like it or not. So I thought I had my, let me get a setting spray really quick. Or you know what, I'm going to do a different color. I'm 
going to do a lighter color because I feel like I've been doing a lot of these maroon and purple colors. I wish, girl, I would love to do makeup. I actually don't really do anybody's makeup. So I'm going to go in with this single shadow from Morphe. This is Powder Room Pressed Pigment. It's like a shimmery pinkish. And I'm going to place quite a bit of product on my brush like this. And I spray it with setting spray to get it wet. The reason why I do that is because it helps you have more control of the product. And it gives it that foiled look. In other words, like more pigmented. And I'm just going to place this on the lid. Once again, spray my brush. I have six kids. You guys hear my kids in the back, actually. <laughs> Fighting. But before anybody starts saying, go take care of your kids, they are taken care of. They are with their daddy. Okay, so I pinned my Instagram. Thank you, Marnie. Did I just say Monty? I'm just going to call you Monty now. Thank you, Monty. So, just like that. And to me, whenever you wet your shimmer shadows like this, um, to me, you don't even have to cut the crease. I kind of just cut the crease with the shadow. It just makes it easier for me. Can you show your tattoo, please? What tattoo? I have a lot of tattoos, love. So just like that, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Then I'm going to take the brush that I used, if I don't drop it, and get that red color again and go back in on the ends. Just like that. Lippy tattoo. This one. That is my tattoo. And then I have this one over here. And then I have this one. Guys, I'm all tattooed. Thank you, guys. Could you guys hit the share button really fast? And follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. My Facebook page, my makeup page, follow makeup goals, like and follow their page. Okay, so that is the eyes. Then I'm going to do some wing liner, but I've been really messing up on the wings lately. But we'll, we'll give it a go. So this is the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. As close as I could get to the... NYC. Just like that. Bam, there's our wing. I'm just kidding. What if I left it like that? Bada bing, bada boom. That easy. I'm thinking about getting a tiny unicorn on my foot. My question is, why a unicorn? Is there a meaning behind it? My mom has a frog on her leg and it's actually pretty cool. Thank you for sharing. It's official Henry isn't the only makeup artist I'll be watching anymore. I feel like I'm cheating. Aww. Don't worry. Henry's my friend. I love him too. 
He's hilarious. He cracks me up. I swear I pee almost every time I watch him. Yeah. He works on makeup goals as well. Who doesn't love unicorns? Right. True. Very true. I get a really, really colorful one. That'd be pretty cool. Watching from Denver. Thank you for sharing. How many followers did you have on Instagram before you went viral? Um, I had about a thousand. I want to say about a thousand. I might not even had a thousand. I was like, maybe. I think I was like almost at a thousand when I um, first started going viral on Instagram. And I just kind of blew up. Henry is my favorite. Henry. Yeah, Angelica's babe too. And Armani. I love them all. They are my friends. I knew you were going to blow up. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm glad you believed in me. I honestly didn't think I was going to blow up that fast. It's definitely hard work, though. It's not easy. You have to stay dedicated. Did you tag any accounts when you would post videos on Instagram? What do you mean? Like repost pages or like brands or? Thank you, Jessica. You look cute, baby. Thank you. So I know I have been slacking on going live. But I want to start going live again more often. It's just so hard. Like, ugh, it takes so much time. And my phone's about to die, you guys. Let me go get my charger before this thing croaks. I still gotta fix my hair. I'm gonna go on a hot date today with my husband. Okay, I'm back. Can't breathe. <laughs> Did you tag any brands on your videos on Instagram when you would post about makeup? Yes, you always wanna tag them. Always. <sighs> What's your best eyeliner tip for beginners? Um, light hand. Another thing is, just like um, with the eyebrow hair wisps, just kind of go for it. Don't take your time trying to be real nice and perfect without messing it up because I notice whenever I do that, that's when I mess up. So when you go, just kind of start and just flick it. Just, just go for it. When you go for it, that's when it's going to come out the nicest. You take your time, it's going to be squiggled and it's just going to be a hot mess. I live in New Mexico. Okay. Yeah, you guys hit the share button really, really fast. My struggle is like, I can't ever get them the same. Oh, see? See what I mean there? What I did? It's okay, just let it dry, and then I will fix it.
All my kids are being bad. Y'all hear them? Okay. What foundation do you use? Um, I use a bunch of different kinds, but today I used the Lancome Lancome Makeup Stick Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. Looks like this. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry. I messed up right there, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Um, it was hard, but it wasn't too hard because I was married. Um, so it wasn't like I was like a single mom. What, am, what was I going to do? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and start on the face. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Concealer under my eyes. And then after I do this, did I really get it on my shirt? Oh, I got lucky. Um, I will put shadow under my eyes, do lashes, and all of that good stuff. Um, if you guys miss the eyes, you guys can always watch back. Just follow makeup goals, and when I am done going live, you can go and rewatch the video from the beginning if you like. Once again, you guys, don't forget to hit the share button if you're just coming in. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat. Um, I be eating all the time. Instagram, mainly Instagram. Um, my my Facebook page. Everything is linked in the description. Yes, I did. Everything, all my um, social medias is in the description at the top of this video. Thank you. So don't forget to follow me for sure on my Facebook page, my makeup page that is linked up below, up on top. I will be having a giveaway coming this, the beginning of this coming week. I'll be doing a giveaway. Sometimes I wish I could read Spanish. Um, I recommend like eyeshadow palettes would be Juvia's Place and Morphe. Um, I do have a code, a discount code with Juvia's Place, and it is Justice, J-U-S-T-I-C-E. And then, like, foundation, I recommend Wet n Wild. That is my favorite foundation. Concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, um, NYX Eyeliner, I use that all the time. Brow Products was the BH Cosmetics um, Pomade in the shade Ebony. So next, I'm going to take this bad boy, which is Morphe. I love this. I would get this too. This is the NC, I mean 9C palette. This is a contour palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here. Actually, I'm going to use this one right here to set my under eye.
and you want to set it so that way it doesn't crease. Nobody likes some creasingness. <laughs> Just like that. So yeah, I'm going to be teaming up with a makeup brand um, this coming week. And we're going to be doing a giveaway. And the winner of the giveaway will contact them and send them their um, address and stuff like that. There will be more details of, of what it is when the giveaway is actually happening next week when I go live. I will be going live and explaining. So, it's going to be pretty cool. You got, And it's a palette, you guys. Giveaway on a palette. You don't want to miss out. Okay? Next, I am going to go in with... I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna mix this shade and this shade for my contour and give us some color I need some color going on her voice is soothing ah that's so sweet that's probably like the sweetest thing ever So, give us some color going on. <laughs> you guys, if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you guys should message me some new recipes. Like, if you guys have some yummy food recipes, I'm fixing to go grocery shopping. And I'm dying to cook new foods. Like, I'm, you guys know I love food. I be eating food on Snapchat all the time. And, um, YouTube. Send me some recipes that I need to try. And I will make them and try them out. Hi. Oh, that's so sweet. I love babies, obviously. I got six. Yeah, I wish I knew how, but I don't know Spanish. That's Angelica's thing. Candy lover. That's her thing. I will sit and watch her whole thing and not even know what she's talking about and just because hmm. <laughs> I love her. That's babe. Henry too. I be losing sleep. I blame Henry. Henry, the reason why I'm so tired all the time is because I be staying up late as shit watching him laughing so hard on Instagram, going to the after party for reals. My youngest is three months old. Hi, Lee. Does your boyfriend have tattoos on his eyebrows? Seriously. <laughs> I think that was... No, he does not. But I think that was probably the funniest question I've ever heard. Say my name, please. Lee. <laughs> say my name. Say my name. Okay, so we gave us some color. Like that. Like that, right there. And then I will cut out my contour. We are almost done, you guys. Then I gotta finish the eyes. I feel like I'm taking way too long. The eyebrows took so long. Okay. 
beautiful. Thank you. Um, it is Morphe Brushes. 9C palette. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Yes, he has tattoos. Thank you. You're sweet. You guys are always so kind. Yeah, so who went and followed me on Instagram? Anybody? Did anybody go follow me on Snapchat? YouTube? Did you guys follow Makeup Goals? Did you follow my makeup page? Who took the time to do all that? Came back. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. I'm glad you did. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm having a pretty good day today. I must say. Are you going to do your lips? Well, yes, I am. I'm not going to leave them crusted like this. Don't worry. I already have you all. Yay. Okay. So... Let's do some blush. This is the Tarte Blush in Blushing Bride. I did Instagram. I'm following you. Thank you guys for following me. I'm glad to be meeting some new people. Um, all my information is at the top. What is your Snapchat? All of it is at the top of this video in the description. Thank you. I really love what I'm seeing. Aw. Hi, first time watching. Hi, Sandy. You are so BTFL. What does that mean? Beautiful. Thank you. First time watching. Well, hi, Mindy. Flawless. Thank you, Annie. So, just some color. Followed all three. Well, thank you. Is it Mike and Destiny? Followed your makeup page. Thank you for following. You are nice. Aw. I try to be. Unless you cross me the wrong way. No, just kidding. Okay. So I've never tried this highlighter, but I wanted to try this. This is from Ruby Make Cosmetics in the shade Planet Glow. Looks like this. It's pretty cool. I've never tried it before, but look at this. It's like marbly. I wonder if it's going to be too gold for me. But it's so pretty. Let's let's give it a try. Let's see how we like it. I'm going to use a bigger blush brush just in case. Oh, wow. Look at that. Holy, holy. Oh, this is pretty. It kind of has like an iridescence to it. This is cute. Ruby Mae Cosmetics is really, really affordable too. Oh, I feel like I'm getting too much, but then I keep getting more. How pretty. How pretty. I jumped on late. I just saw where someone said you don't waste time. How many do you have? What? Um, you mean kids? I have six kids. My nails are on day three, you guys. I haven't lost not one of them. Aw, thank you. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. You warm my heart. Aw. Thank you. You guys don't make me cry. We get all emotional at that time of month. Look at that, super pretty. Remember, this is Ruby May Cosmetics. They're very affordable. Let's just let's just glow this whole face. Yes. <laughs> let's glow it all. Let's do it all. Why not, huh? I'm going to be shiny. Shiny. Gonna add a little bit. 
it on my brow bone. This is so pretty. I freaking... Okay, so what is everybody's favorite makeup product? Mine would have to be lashes and highlight. I'm like, I... I'm like a highlight hoarder. Hold on. Okay, and then let's add some shadow to the lower lash line now. I'm just going to take... I'm actually going to do the brown for my lower lash line. Lips and concealer. Wow, beautiful, thank you. Eyeshadows and cover up and cut concealers. Thank you. I could live without concealer. I feel like I don't have to have concealer. It's not one of my like favorites, but I am using Morphe brushes. Any tips on how to make your foundation look so smooth and good like yours? Do you use a brush or a beauty blender? Um, I use both, actually. Today I didn't have the time. Like, I was too lazy to go and wet my beauty blender, so I just used a brush. Um, honestly, it's just, it has to do a lot with the way you prep your skin. For one, your skin isn't going to look flawless with makeup on it um, if you don't take care of your skin. So skincare, I tell everybody this all the time, skincare is number one. Makeup is number two, but skincare, you always want to take good care of your skin. Um, primer, depends on your primer too, can have uh, a really big difference on uh, your um, the way you your foundation comes out. Um, like today I used the Pop Beauty Primer. I really like this. And this is how my foundation um, works. But I notice whenever I use the Elsie Primer that I have, my other primer, or the Smashbox, um, my foundation will look really weird around here. It'll start looking like blotchy and on my nose. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's dry or like cracky I don't know um, so it always depends you just and you can't really like the products that I use may not work on you um, just like the LC product primer doesn't work as good on me anymore I don't know why um, but it's good for other people so it just depends you will find out what works for you by trying out other pro uh, products so go to Sephora get a bunch of samples try them out with different foundations whatever and you will start, eventually you will find out what works for you and what doesn't. So, yeah. I hope that it helped a little bit. So this is the telescopic uh, mascara by L'Oreal. And I do, just because I am a beauty guru, you guys, does not mean that I only use high-end makeup, that I'm just raved all about high-end makeup. That is, um, I still love affordable makeup. Like, my favorite foundation is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have dry skin, so it works really good with my skin. And that is, what, $5? I love ColourPop, um... I love a lot of affordable makeup. I don't like just high end. And I feel like a lot of beauty gurus that get really big, they get really into the more expensive makeup and they kind of forget about the good affordable makeup. I'm all about saving a dollar. All about it. If if I can if a $5 foundation does 
just as good as uh, um, a $40 foundation, you know I'm going to get that cheap one because I'm going to use that rest of the other money on my kids or, you know, something else. I love, I love when I can find a product that is affordable. So I'm trying to hurry up, you guys. Y'all are like, hurry up, gosh. It's taking forever. Rihanna has a new makeup line. Yeah, I know, Fenty. What you said is real. Yes. Skincare is important, I'm telling you. You gotta have that skincare. Very, very, very important skincare is. I had something up here that I was going to use and it's gone. Oh, there it is. So before I put lashes, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. This is a BH Cosmetics lip liner. See, I love BH Cosmetics. Super affordable. I use their brow stuff. So anybody that watches me, what do you guys think about my lips? You guys know that I got lip injections. I actually showed it on Snapchat. It's actually on my Instagram as well, my video of my lip injections. They're so big. Are you a M U A? Yes, I am. I'm a beauty blogger, beauty influencer, whatever you want to call it. Guys, don't miss out on my Instagram. Remember to like, because I know the followers are going down. Before you hop off of this, remember to follow and like makeup goals. And you can actually turn on the post notifications and be notified every time someone goes live. Uh, me and... Four other people go live on here. So, me, Angelica, Armani, um, Henry, and uh, I look, they're so dry. Oh, this is the, what is this called? Allegory Story Lip Gloss. I've been loving lip gloss lately. Yeah, I really hope you guys went and followed me on Instagram and Snapchat. And followed my makeup page. I'll be going live and doing a giveaway next week. I want to start doing giveaways. Like maybe if I could do a giveaway like once a week. That would be pretty cool. What do you guys think? Giveaway once a week? I'm going to have to buy more products to give away. So eyelashes. I'm going to take these from Lashlore.co. Super dramatic. Why did I pin that? I did not mean to pin that. Oops. Okay. Where you put your lips in a peel bottle and sit for 10 minutes. Go look on your tube and I guess I get chosen. Um, why are you talk? Well, what brought that up?
your lips. I know they're so big, huh? Don't they look so big? My lip injections were 600. Um, 600 the first time I got them, which I had got one syringe, so it is 600 per syringe, and then they were crooked, um, like really crooked, so I went back for them to fix them, and they gave me a second syringe for free because they had messed it up. Um, so I got lucky that I didn't have to pay another 600 or I would have had to pay so much money. I mean, it is because they had made them crooked, so they fixed them for me. And he just went ahead and gave me another full syringe. That's why they're so big. When you get one syringe, it doesn't make that big of a difference. It, it kind of makes them a little bit more plump, but not really, like, enlargement. Which I like that. Well, not a lot of people like that. It's not. It's not for everybody. I wish I could caught it from the beginning. I'll have to watch. Yeah, you can rewatch it, girl. Oh no, now that's too much. Yeah, but I didn't pay that much. I only paid six hundred for two syringes, and the only reason is because they did mess it up. Um, so they gave me another syringe, and actually this side's a little bit bigger than the bottom on this side. So I go back in one more week. Um, once they're fully healed and he will touch up spots that need to be touched up again for me, free of charge. We're at in Clovis, New Mexico. That's where I got them. You can message me if you live near, like around here. Um, if you want to go check them out, I can give you the information. If you live close to Clovis, New Mexico. It's to me it's worth it. Um and like I said they'll fix it for you if they mess up. And they also um Actually, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm going to be vlogging something. I'm also doing another thing. I haven't announced it yet because I'm going to vlog about it. I am doing another procedure um with them. I am going to be working with them. Um and they do have care credit where you can apply for care credit. And if you are approved, then you can do whatever it is. They do all kinds of stuff there. Um, you can pay it in payments. So if you are approved for that, if you apply for care credit. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, if you live, you know, close to New Mexico, a few hours or something, if you want to drive down here and you're interested in it, I can give you the information. You can let them know that. I recommended you. You are seriously perfect. Oh, Haley, thank you. I'm far from perfect, so honey, like I'm far from perfect. But I appreciate that. Your teeth are so perfect. Oh, thank you. I wish. I wish they were like Henry's. His smile would be warm in my heart. I just love the other people who work on makeup goals. So I love them. Armani too. If you guys don't follow Armani, you need to follow her. Her eyes, you guys say I have big eyes. She has big eyes just like me. We the same. We both. And, and not very many people. I don't really come across people who have large eyes like I do. And she does. Yeah, I love Henry. But I'm mad at him right now because he'd be making me lose sleep because I'd be staying up watching him. So, I'm, I'm mad at him right now. Because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm using the Duo Lash Glue. Thank you, they're long, huh? This is the first time I've used these pair. But I, I like them. I'm looking cute today. I still gotta do this hair. So after this, I'm going to go live on Instagram, and I'm going to do my hair. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and go hop on that, and I will go live and do my hair.
You probably guys probably don't have enough time to be watching me this long, I know. So boom, look at that. Ooh, girl. What's your Instagram? Everything is up at the top. There's a link at the top of the description of this video. Just slide down the video and it's all at the top. My Snapchat, my makeup page that I'm going to be doing a giveaway on next week, um, my Instagram, and then you can follow me on, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. My YouTube link is in the, in the, in my bio on my Instagram. These are lashes in the style, oops. Alora by Lash Lord Co. First time using those and I, I like them. They sent them to me and I don't even remember talking to the person about them sending it to me. But if you're watching this, um, you should send me some more. Because they are bomb. I think I need to use them in some video. I'm going to use these in a video next. Yes, they are long. I like these. I'm going to add a little bit more highlight because you can never have enough highlight. So this is the Ruby May Cosmetics highlighter. Actually, you know, I don't want to take too much. Okay, you guys. So this is it for my look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. If you want to watch me on Instagram now to do this nappy hair, you can. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, my makeup page, my Instagram. Um... And don't forget, most important, to like and follow Makeup Goals, which is the page that I am on now. And you can be notified if you turn on the notifications. Um, every time that one of us goes live, there is other makeup artists that go live on here as well. Oh, that's so sweet. I love Kylie. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm going on Instagram now and I'm going to do my hair. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I love you guys so much. See you guys.